What's up YouTube? This is Cody here with iPhonehacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix iOS 7 most common bugs. So Apple has acknowledged that iOS 7 is causing issues for a fraction of a percent of iMessage users and if you're part of that fraction of a percent then you can actually fix this issue right away. All you need to do is go into your settings, go into general, scroll all the way down here to reset and then reset your network settings. So just type in your passcode here and then you can tap reset network settings and then once that goes all the way through and resets all your network settings just reboot your device and you should be good to go now despite the iOS 7.0.2 update there still remains a lock screen security flaw that can let an unauthorized person bypass the passcode and gain access to the phone app alright so the solution here is just to disable Siri from your lock screen now you can do this by going to your settings general scroll down here to passcode and fingerprint and then scroll down here and just turn off Siri. Now when you turn off Siri, it's not going to allow to access Siri when it's locked. All right, so the next issue that we have here is actually a bug in iOS 7 that randomly logs out users of an app, requiring them to enter their login credentials repeatedly. Now apps affected by this glitch include Mailbox, Snapchat, and PayPal. And the issue was introduced due to iOS 7 new background app refresh feature. And to fix it, all you need to do is go into your settings here, go into general, and we're going to go to background app refresh and then just toggle off the apps that you're having issues with right here so if you're having issues with mailbox just toggle off mailbox also there's an issue with audio apps crashing when you get a call if you're using it so if you use an iOS app to create music or do other audio related tasks then iOS 7 might crash when you receive a call when using the app now this is quite a serious issue since it's possible to lose data when the app crashes so there's really no solution at this point the only thing that you can do to save yourself from this issue is actually putting on airplane mode when you're using one of those specific applications that way you can't get phone calls and it's not going to crash your app now also if you're having battery life issues I've made a complete video of how to tone that down and you can save some of your battery life so I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to click on and you can go check that out if that's one of your issues Another bug is the motion sensors included in the iPhone 5S are significantly miscalibrated and report erroneous motion related data to apps. Now it's not clear if this is a hardware issue or it can be solved by a software update. So you might want to wait it out for Apple to release a software update to see if it fixes it. If it doesn't fix the issue and it's a hardware problem with their unit then you could possibly get a replacement. Alright if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys until next time. This is Cody with iPhonehacks.com.